So winter is here. It's December 2021. Most people have tucked away their prized possessions, their nice cars. But what would you rather do winter in? Something boring or something a little bit more interesting like this 2003 W203 Mercedes C200 compressor. Here's why I think it might be the ultimate winter beater. Okay, so what is the story on this W203 then? Well, it's actually my uncle's car and he bought it very recently after selling his Giulia back in the summer, his Alfa Romeo Giulia Veloce, that is. We featured that car on the channel. And in the meantime, he'd been using his Citroen 2CV, another car that we featured on the channel. I'll link that video up here. And as we were moving into winter, he didn't really want to expose that 2CV to the salt and the, uh, the harshness, I suppose, of the England winters. So basically he went out and found this W203 and it cost £1,250. That is it. And it's just in remarkable condition. Yes, it's maybe a bit of a grandpa spec. This colour is kind of in certain lights going onto that hearing aid beige, you know, the one that we're all familiar with. But actually it's a lot more silver in the kind of light that we're in now. And I think it looks really good. It's just very of the time like these W203s are. These were built back, well, from 2000 is when this car was first put into production. As I say, this is a 2003, so it is the pre-facelift. Um, but it doesn't look really that old, to be honest, considering it's 18 years old. So as I've mentioned briefly then, we've got a two litre four cylinder engine that is supercharged, hence the compressor badging, and it makes 163 horsepower and 180 pound feet of torque. So pretty respectable figures, really. It's remarkably clean under here, I must say that. Everything is really well kept. And actually that's something you notice about this whole car. It's nearly 18 years old and there's really not anything wrong with the bodywork at all. It's fantastic condition, but it's only got about 79,000 miles on it, which is really impressive for an 18 year period. So anyway, this kind of power gives us a 0 to 60 of 9.3 seconds and a top speed of 145 miles an hour. So nothing too crazy, but it certainly gets the job done. And we've even got a six speed manual gearbox, which just makes this spec even more interesting. So the styling then, as I say, it's very much of the time, this kind of early 2000s Mercedes. And you've got to think back in this period, Mercedes are making very, very different cars to the things they make today. It's got kind of very rounded off edges. You can see this kind of front wing here is very rounded off, but we've got this single crease line that runs kind of all the way and over the top of the doors. And I think looks really cool actually. The wheels, well, this is the classic spec. So it is quite a sort of, I don't know how would you describe it? Almost like an executive spec, quite basic really actually. So we've got these plastic wheel trims and I actually don't think they look too bad. Maybe not to everyone's taste, but you know, what is really? So moving to the rear of the car then, I actually think this hasn't aged as much as other parts of it may have. We've got that C200 compressor badging just telling people that this is the supercharged model. And yeah, I, just, I think it's still a pretty fresh design. It's some little like sharper creases actually back here. And I think that's what helps to make it look a bit more modern. And yeah, I, it's a perfectly good looking thing. I mean, it's not ugly. It's maybe not the most aggressive or best looking car out there, but really I can't complain too much. Okay then, so what makes an ultimate winter beater? I think for me, it has to be something that is reliable, something that's affordable, but also usable. This W203 seems to tick all of those boxes. As I mentioned, the price was 1,250 pounds. It's kind of crazy considering the condition this thing's in, and it's been running absolutely fine. The W203 generally seems to be a very reliable platform. I've not heard about any major issues with it, nor have I heard about any major issues with the engine. And having driven it so far, it seems to be fantastic, to be honest. It's been quite a lot of fun out on the road. I'm, I'm quite surprised, really. That supercharged engine, obviously the effect of a supercharger effectively mimics a larger engine. That's kind of what it does. It is forced induction. It is creating more power and bringing in the torque a little bit lower as well. And you can really feel that. I'm in fifth gear at the minute, just under 2,000 RPM. There's plenty of torque there. It's really picking up speed quite nicely. 
so yeah and it revs out all the way to kind of 6000 which means it's got kind of a nice breadth capability as well so yeah it's a really nice engine to use the gearbox well feels tight as anything really considering the mileage i don't really know what what work it's had done on it but yeah it feels really nice to use the ratios are good it's it's just kind of easy to get in and out of gear as well which is always another thing and you don't really want to be messing about in winter do you so yeah works really nicely it actually makes quite a decent sound this engine as well you get hints of that supercharger whine but yeah i mean picks up speed really well actually nice power delivery it feels very linear as you would expect with a supercharger but yeah you kind of get that subtle whine lowering the rev range and i imagine there's probably some things you could do to make that louder if you so wished but yeah fantastic little engine i must say obviously it's rear wheel drive definitely not a bad thing uh thing's got plenty of traction to be fair it's not tons of torque but it's got quite skinny tires on this model and um yeah it does spool them up every now and then which is quite nice as well the steering yeah feels really good it's quite heavy actually and the steering wheel you know this generation might not be for everyone but it does the job it's fairly comfortable to use actually get the rev matches in get the heel and toe in pedals are actually really well set up for heel and toe which was a surprise yeah that, that throttle pedal's like in a really nice position actually the pedal weights are a little bit funny but i'm just coming from driving the same cars every day so that's just me not being used to it more than likely and you certainly get used to it after a, a bit of driving anyway but overall this w203 just feels exceptionally well built it just feels like a quality machine and that's really what mercedes of this era was all about they just built some brilliant products back then and so many great cars that came from around that period of time and even 18 years on this car feels really fresh and really sort of well maintained and, and just well built as i say it rides the bumps really nicely and actually that's something that i can certainly appreciate this time of year is endless potholes just seem to appear on british roads and it can really make for an uncomfortable ride and i'm coming from my z4 coupe as well which some of you guys might have seen and that is a pretty rough ride this time of year as more and more potholes open up but this is just plowing through everything with great ease if you're new to the channel please do consider subscribing we would really appreciate the support we're trying to hit 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year it might be a little bit ambitious but every subscriber counts and we really appreciate all your support and yeah drop the video a like if you've enjoyed it but it's just a very very usable car it's so easy to drive i hop straight in this and just you know straight at home with it it just feels brilliant to be honest and also when you're driving slower it's really really quiet as well so you can kind of you know if you just want to use this for commuting which a lot of people obviously would for a sort of winter beater it does that perfectly well there were automatic gearboxes available i think there's a five-speed torque converter automatic that you could get in this as well if you weren't too bothered about this manual but honestly this manual is worth going for it's really good actually i suppose it adds a little bit of you know a different element to the driving experience as well so i suppose that whole thing isn't it do you buy something cheap and maybe a bit boring but probably reliable or do you buy something a little bit more interesting like this w203 i certainly know where my money would be it's just a really interesting car and it actually really makes me want to buy one of course they made the c32 amg in this generation and also the c55 with that 5.4 liter supercharged v8 and knowing i was going to come and drive this i was actually starting to look at some of those c55s and you can actually get them for pretty good money these days and spending some time in the w203 i can certainly say it is a fantastic car to live with it just seems to do everything you'd want to do obviously it's massively practical in this kind of four-door spec plenty of room in the boot plenty of room in the back it's just a comfortable place to be so yeah i think this is a very very good choice if you need a winter beater
Okay, so perhaps the spec maybe isn't to everyone's taste, but as I was kind of saying when I was talking about the outside of the car, I think it's very much of the time. We've got this really nice kind of wood trim. Again, it really dates the car by today's standards, but you know what, it does the job and it, it still kind of gives that premium sort of feel to it. And overall, the build quality in here is just brilliant, as I say. I mean, everything just feels solid. And 18 years on, well, it looks in fantastic condition, to be honest. We've got some cloth seats in here, which perhaps would have held up better than, you know, a leather equivalents, because leather can often dry up and crack, and it just starts to show its age quite easily. But these cloth seats are in brilliant condition. It's really a lot of fun on these B-Roads, actually, surprisingly so. You wouldn't look at a W203 and think, oh, you know, that's a proper driver's car, but actually, it's quite a lot of fun. I think it's that whole thing about these analog driving experiences. <laughs> yeah, this would be great. This would be great. Anyway, guys, hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next one.